ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Ako po si Amy Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dandagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Andre is an actor and musician based in Quezon City. He is a former student at the UP Film Institute and an honorary alumnus of the UP Repertory Company and UP Cinema. Glenn is from Negros Oriental and is currently a BS Geodetic Engineering student. Dias is a performance major in theater. He came from the province of Laguna where he originally majored in engineering. Now he's following his dream of becoming a theater actor. Lee Jan is an aspiring theater practitioner, hobbyist, and is currently navigating the corporate lifestyle. He's eager to win with bits and pieces of information he had accumulated in his lifetime. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panels of experts. Professor Marian Roque, a professor of mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Maylin Cruz, Assistant Professor from the Department of Theory, College of Fine Arts, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> Andre, what do arigato and gracias mean in English? Thank you. Hey, check. Glenn, what is 75% of 200? 150. Hey, check. Gaius, Val Kilmer voiced the character of which biblical leader in DreamWorks, Prince of Egypt? Pharaoh Dias. Malay, Moses. Lee Jan, in what continent can you find the city of Rio de Janeiro? South America. K check. Andre, 5 is what percent of 20? 25. K check. Glenn, what is the capital of Vietnam? <laughs> Hanoi. Dias, what province is due north of Abra and Ilocos Sur? The Buen Islands. Le, Ilocos Norte. Li Jan, 8 is 25 percent of what number? 24. Okay. 32. Andre, Basilan lies due west of which larger island? Uh, Sulu. Malik, Mindanao. Glenn, which singer hit number one with Teenage Dream and Fireworks? <laughs> Katy Perry. Dias, 30 is 50% of what number? 60. K check. Li Jan, the iPad is made by which trillion dollar electronics company? Apple. K Check. And that's it for our first round, the K Check Paramihan round. And that's it for our first round, the K Check Paramihan round. Grab your no. Ano, close diba? fight. Exciting, diba? Nakita mo yung score parang dikit dikit, no? Kinay mo yung mga questions. Tai tai na sila ng. Yes, so. Oh. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Chat! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Let's take a look at the scores of our contestants. 
wow, very close ang ating labanan. We have Atay in first place, Andre and Lijan with 20 points, and then also another tie sa so second place, Glenn and Dias at 10 points. Yes, so ito nung kasi exciting oh, diba? around na yun, diba? Alam na alam na yung mga questions. Ikaw, Prof May, alam mo yung mga questions kanina? Nasagot mo ba sila? Mas magaling, na, mas mabuti na nandito na lang ako kasi, <laughs> <laughs> kasi may kasamang kaba. Correct. No? Uh, oh. so, may tanong kasamang contestants natin? Um, may tanong ako para kay Dias kasi ang background niya is, um, sabi niya, ay galing siya ng engineering tapos theater ngayon. Kwentuhan mo naman kami, anong papano napunta from engineering to theater? Back then lang po, parang mas kailangan kong tingnan yung practical standpoint of things. Pero ngayon po, yung passion na lang. Passion naman po. How does it feel now? Mas masaya? Sobrang mas masaya po. Okay, <laughs> very good. Ako naman curious ako kay Glenn. Kasi puro teatro sila except si Glenn. Siya isang geodetic engineering student. Bakit geodetic engineering? Uh, geodetic engineering is this discipline niya po is surveying, remote sensing, and photogrammetry and among others. And Mostly involved with geometry and hili ko siya. Kaya ba ako mo ng geometry? Passion din niya. Okay, oh, makakasundo mo yan tsaka ni Prof. Maria, no? Hindi kailangan maging artista para passion ng yun. Yes, yes. totoo <laughs> naman. Oh, oh. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think first before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! <laughs> Question. What 2016 South Korean action horror film takes place on a high speed rail? Dias. Train to Busan. Okay, check. Next question. The nucleus of an atom is composed of a neutron and what possible? Dias. Proton. Okay, check. Kamehameha Day is an official holiday celebrated on June 11th in what U.S. state? Dias. Hawaii. Okay, check. Next question. <laughs> what Grand Slam tennis event was held at the USDA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in New York City? Ang tamang sagot ay U.S. Open. In human anatomy, what is the name of a cord arising from the navel that connects the fetus with the mother's legion? Umbilical cord. Okay, check. Which Iraqi strongman declared that the 1991 Gulf War was the mother of all battles? Walang nakasagot. Ang sagot ay Saddam Hussein. Which popular cosmetics company gets its name from the birthplace of the great playwright William Shakespeare? The answer is Avon. In sports, a triathlon is composed of cycling, running, and what other sports? Dias. Swimming. Okay, check. What title did Precious Lara Kigaman win on September 26, 2005 in Tokyo, Japan? Siya po ang ating Miss International. Gomez, Morticia, Pugsley, and Wednesday are members of what famous... Legion. Adam's family. Okay, check. What is the name of the mother of Prince William and Prince Harry of the <laughs> Legion? Queen Elizabeth. Andre. Princess Diana. Okay, check. <laughs> and the last question. In Roman mythology, who is the goddess of love and... <laughs> Legion. Aphrodite. Male. Andre. Venus. <laughs> and that's it for our Pabilisan Round. <laughs> and that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Before we continue, points recap muna tayo. Si Dias has 90 points, Andre has 60 points, Legion has 40 points, and Glenn has 10 points. No? 
exciting pa rin ang laban, no? Oh Parang gusto ko magpustahan talaga tayo talaga. this time. Oo. Oh, oh. Sobrang diba? na-excite ako while I was reading the questions. Diba? O oh, nakikita ko yung reaction mo eh. Talagang akala mo ito na yung penultimate round, no? Okay. This time we'll have our experts, no? Our beautiful and handsome experts ask the questions from our uh, mga kalaro, no? Mga kalaro. From Marian. Mga naglalaro na parang tuwang-tuwa lang sila sa kailang paglalaro at tumatawa talagang malakas. So, siguro si Andre, isang mga malakas tumawa, eh. Ay, ba't di tuma- po. Ba't ka tumatawa po nakasagot ka? Ay, di po kasi ano yun. Bugso ng damda. Bugso ng damda. Bugso ng damda. <laughs> kasi po, ano eh, may consequence ka pag mali. Ah. So, alam mo yung Siguro 90% sure ka, pero may 10% na nagmumulto na kasi may minus 10. So, so kinakabahan ka pa din. Opo. So, yun yung tawa. O, tama, ganon. <laughs> so, actor ka, stage, film? Both po. Ah, both? Nag-artista ka na sa film? Um, yes po. Uh, meron akong short film this year na hindi pa lumalabas. <laughs> Ba't ka nag-quiz show? Kasi po, uh, gusto ko po makabalik sa UP kasi na-miss ko po yung campus and na-miss ko po yung company ng uh, mga uh, dati ko pong uh, na- nakasama sa school. Ito po marami siyang talent, ang dami niyang alam. Yes. Eh, no? Si Princess Diana, kilala niya. Yeah. Holistic si Andre. Happy death no? anniversary pa naman si Diana, recently. Ito. Okay. Prof Neil, ikaw, may gusto kang matanong sa kanila? Ang tanong ko para kay Lijan. Okay. Kasi Lijan, baka kailangan mong magkwento sa amin. Kasi dun sa introduction sa'yo, binanggit na you're a theater practitioner navigating the corporate world. So, mangyari maipaliwanag ito sa amin. Ano po, uh, basically po, meron po akong mga nakatrabaho na sa theater pero since hindi naman po tuloy-tuloy ang mga projects, at the same time, kailangan ko po ng steady income in order for me to uh, pay bills. So, Practical sa okay. Lija. So, baka yung follow-up question, ano ba tong corporate world na tinutukoy mo? Feeling ko po confidential po siya. Hindi pa po kasi din ako considered as an employee by this time po. So, oh, ayun po. Okay. It's the ideology of the corporate world. Nang here. inisip ko, baka dahil confidential, dahil trolling. Ay, Hindi naman trolling, ha? Hindi naman po. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi daw, may make sure Nag-o-observe yan. Nag-o-observe pala siya dito. No? Okay. And anyway, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round, susunod na here on K-Check! K-check. In the lead is Diaz with 90 points. He is followed by Andre with 60 points. Third place at this point is Legion with 40 points. And then we have Glenn with 10 points. Ako, mainit talaga ang labanan. Correct. No? Kahit sino pwede pa manalo kasi 360 points pa ang at stake no, sa round na ito. So potentially, it's anyone's game. No? Kahit nasa That's lead right. si Diaz. Diba? So we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers again are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors ng, at- ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Question number one from Prof. Marian. First question, simply muna. What is the mathematical name of the number whose digits consist of one followed by 100 zeros? Glenn. Googleplex. 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 Medyo malapit na eh. Google. The correct answer is Google. Prof. Neil, next question. Which Philippine president officially renamed 
the maritime areas on the western side of the Philippine archipelago as West Philippine Sea. Legion. Uh, President Nina Yakin. Mali. Hindi po naging presidente si Ninoy Aquino. Ang naging presidente, kanyang asawa na si Cory Aquino mula 1986 ang 1992 at kanyang anak na si Pinoy o Binigno Simeon Aquino mula 2010 hanggang 2016. Ang tamang sagot ay Binigno Simeon Aquino III. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Mele. What famous sculpture was created by the national artist Guillermo Tolentino for UP? Andre. The oblation. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Kacheck. Okay, medyo galit yung sagot mo, pero tama ka. Um, ang oblation ay sumisimbolo sa selfless offering of oneself to the country. At ang original nito ay actually hindi yung nasa University Avenue, pero ang makikita ang original sa third floor library natin. Thank you. Okay, check yun, no? Prof. Marian, next question please. Okay, ngayong pandemic, kailangan talaga hand washing, right? Soap is typically made by combining triglycerides from oil or fat and a strong base to form fatty acid metal salts. This process of making soap is called blank. Okay, malapit sa word na sabon. It's saponification. Saponification, no? May gagawin ulit tayo mamaya, Sir Neil, no? sa mga bahay natin. Prof. Neil, next question. Tang twister ulit yung tanong ni Ma'am Marian. Okay. Susunod na tanong, which province do the cities of Alaminos, San Carlos, and Urdaneta belong to? Andre. Pangasinan. Ang Pangasinan ay ang tamang sagot, KJ. Thank you. Prof. Neil. Prof. Maylin. What is the popular term for the stage reenactment of Christ's passion and death? Dias. Sinakulo. Tamang sagot, okay, check. Um, ang sinakulo ay pinapractice sa iba't ibang lugar dito sa Pilipinas mula um, at pinakakilala siguro yung sa Pampanga. Mm, okay, nakapunta ka na ba sa Pampanga for the sinakulo? Uh, hindi pa yung um, pag witness ng Senacolo, pero sa Pampanga, madalas. Okay, pupunta ulit tayong lahat ng Pampanga. <laughs> tayong lahat. Prof. Tagad doon ako. Uy! Prof. Maria, next question. Okay, biology ulit. Where can you find the smallest bone in the human body? Glenn! Here. Okay, the smallest bones are the ossicles made up of malleus, incus, stapes, known as also the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. The correct answer is actually middle ear, but I will accept ear. Okay, check. Okay, thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Which province is dubbed as the salad bowl of the Philippines? Akala ko madaling tanong ito kasi meron tayong mga shortage na mga gulay ngayon. Okay. Makikita dito yung uh, syudad ng Baguio. Meron din mga strawberry farms. Ikat rin itong probinsya nito. Ang tamang sagot ay Benguet. Okay, thank you. Benguet, Norte. Prof. Mele, next question please. This is a status symbol seating furniture among the Ifugao. Legion. Bahag. Ang tamang sagot ay hagabi. It is a slanting bench that is ritual infused from the selection of the lumber 
to the transport of the bench to the front of the house. Ang isang hagabi ay isang napakataas na status symbol no kahalintulad siya siguro ng sa kapanahunan natin pagkakaroon ng kotse, pagkakaroon ng ba, ng ng bahay no napakamahalagang status symbol to sa para sa mga ifugao. Okay, magpapalagay nga ako sa bahay ko niyan. Mamaya maya lamang. Okay, exciting laban kasi tay si Andre at si Daya sa 120 points. So, huling tatlong tanong, no? Prof Marian. Ito, kaya niyo ito ha kasi lahat tayo merong ganito. Blood is an example of what type of animal tissue? Andre. Oh no. Oh. It's... So no more time. There are four types of tissues: epithelial, muscle, nervous, and connective. And blood is a connective tissue. Nice to know. Prof. Neil. Um, anong lungsod ang nagsisilbing regional center ng SOC Sargent? Dagdag kaalaman lang, baka isa to sa pinakamahirap na acronym sa mga place names natin. SOC South Cotabato, yung C ay Cotabato, SK, Sultan Kodarat, yung SAR, Sarangani, at Jen ay General Santos City. Ang sentro nila ay ang lungsod ng Coronadam. Okay, maraming salamat. Yun tamang sagot. Okay. Huling katanungan, Prof. Maylin. Yes, this is the last question for this round. How many female national artists for visual arts are there so far? Ang tamang sagot, unfortunately, is none or zero. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa tayo ni isang babaeng uh, national artist for the visual arts. So, hamon ito para sa lahat na i-recognize no, yung mga napakarami naman na magagaling na mga babaeng artist sa okay, larangan ng visual arts. Tama, tama, tama. Okay, no? exciting round ito. No? And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Dias, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 120 points. We'll see Dias again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Andre, Glenn, and Legion for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Malin. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Janelle Labor. I would like to ask you to join us again tomorrow for another... K-Check!